Frank, welcome to Pilates. I see you in here all the time, and I'd like to you to tell our listeners and viewers why a guy with your physical fitness, your knowledge of the weight room, chose to do Pilates. Uh, I'm gonna tell you why, because I, through many years of self-induced uh, misbehavior, um, have injured myself in ways that probably don't show on the outside, they show on the inside. Uh, and I have a couple of discs that are a little wacky, and I have a bunch of joints that are a little wacky too. So, while it doesn't show the outside part, it does show on the inside. And what I'm trying to do here, uh, and how I got to this, was to take my two free classes uh, of Pilates and then discovered that not only were these uh, classes something that I could move forward with to solve pain problems, manage pain perhaps, uh, and increase my strength and balance, but also uh, look forward instead of back. Gotcha. And so some of your injuries have been in your in your discs and your back. You, right. you mentioned uh, that. Yeah, you know, pounded by waves the size of apartment buildings and going down hills uh, at highway speeds. Um, basically, that's kind of how I uh, have incurred them over the years. And really, they're they're not they're not. I, I think they're chronic at this point. But I think I'm managing them with the help of uh, these two remarkable trainers. How long have you been doing Pilates? Um, I, I'm going to guess here, but a few a couple of months, a few months. Gotcha. So you're seeing pain relief? Oh, absolutely. I saw it the first week I did it. Gotcha. How has it affected your workouts out in the weight room? Because I know you spend quite well, a bit of time out there too. Okay, that's that's an important feature because uh, I uh, again thought that strength in in uh, in my life was from the outside in, and I found out from Pilates that it really is strength from the inside out, and that's what these ladies have been trying to show me. Uh, I'm not very good. I'm not a very good student, but through through. Uh, uh, through a lot of patience on their part and knowledge on their part, they've kind of trained me to be a better uh, weightlifter, a safer person in the gym. Lisa has shown me ways to incorporate my uh, fitness routines safely and, and to increase my balance. Uh, Lauren, of course, has gotten a lot of that pain management under control, which is wonderful. Gotcha. Well, hey, thanks for sharing that with us. Uh, Lauren or Lisa, can you tell anybody else how they can get involved with Pilates? So easy. Just like come into the club. You can go to the front desk. You can go to the membership coordinators. Or you can just come in the studio. We can get you scheduled. Like you said, everyone gets two free classes. So we like to teach you the basics of it and let you get a sample before you even get too far in. And so that way you can kind of see what we do a little bit more. I know it's not something that a lot of people really know a lot about. Gotcha. Um, Lisa, I know we offer uh, privates, semi-privates, and group. What format has benefited Frank the most? What's benefited him the most is the one-on-one -on -one model because he does have some of the disc issues that we've dealt with. Um, we kind of have to back things up and kind of start from basics and work our way out, kind of like he was talking about working from the inside out. But don't let that be intimidating to those of you that are out there watching this that you have to upfront money to be one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we do have a lot of small group opportunities that you can be in our small group classes too and get a little bit more of that attention where needed but yet still in a group setting it's a little bit more cost effective for your budget. Now that Frank has done one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, private as we call it, what, could he transfer to group if he wanted to? He definitely can when he's ready. He thinks, I don't think he's going to do that because he's a little selfish when he likes his trade. He likes his time. In a, in a, good, in a good way. <laughs> You know, he likes to spend the time with us, but go let, ahead. Let me say something about that. You know, I've been around this, the gym world a, a while, and one of the things I found out is that trainers vary in their, in their uh, conditions with people. And one of the things I found with these two ladies is that they are um, articulate, um, they are devastatingly smart, um, they stay on the leading edge, of the knowledge base, which is a very nuanced and kind of complex system. So I always know I'm gonna get the best of what I need out of this program. And that's just from when I've been with these ladies, I think they've gone to two different training sessions. So they've had more training hours than I have with, had with them. So I know I'm getting the good stuff. And in addition to that, beyond all of that, they care about whether I do well or not. And that's the most important part of this. It's their knowledge, their caring, and even if 
if somebody only had the pain to lose, why would you do this? Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, Frank, thanks for coming in today. We appreciate you sharing.